What's up, pimps? And pimp ants. It's your boy, Hoi. Welcome to my channel. I want to share with you all a story. Yesterday, while I was driving, I was on the left lane, about to turn left at a junction. Now, if you're in Australia, if you drive on the left and there's an arrow on the road saying, turn left, left lane must turn left. Then, by default, you must turn left. So I was driving on the left lane, right? And I was driving and my mind was thinking about what I'm gonna do with the new lawnmower and the new whippersnipper that I just got from Bunnings. So I was driving on the road and I was about to turn left. Well, I was meant to turn left. My mind was wandering off about how fun it would be to just run around with my whippersnipper just destroying all the grass. I am Lord Khoi, destroyer of vegetation. That's what I was thinking. A whippersnipper, a motorized electric whippersnipper. When you press the button and it goes automatically. And it's cutting all the grass. That's like the closest thing to a machine gun that a man can get in Australia. So I was stoked. So I was driving, right? Let's get back to the story. I was driving and I, my mind was thinking about it and I was going straight. And out of the corner of my eye, I see a guy turning left in front of me. So I was going straight, right? I wasn't thinking, I meant to turn left, but I wasn't thinking. I was thinking about the whippersnipper, about firing, destroying all the grass. And then this car turned in front of me. I saw him and I'm like, immediately pressed on the brake. Thank God I did that. Otherwise, I would have T-boned the guy and that would be the end of these vlogs and that would be the end of my car and that would be the end of freedom for a little while. Because you know how I said I got um, all these speeding tickets, right? I've lost all my points. I only have two points left, so I must be very careful. Four speeding tickets. No, five in total this year. What does that make me? Ten, ten points, ten demerit points. I only got two more left. So any traffic offense that I get from now and until the end of the next three years, that would have my license suspended for six months or more. So yeah. Luckily, I stepped on the brake and no T-boning, no collision. No one even honked their horn, so no major or minor inconvenience caused to the road and other people. No one got hurt. I got traumatized and I learned a new lesson. As I was driving as well, I saw a policeman's car on my right. Luckily, they didn't see that, and luckily, no one posted it on the, the town's Facebook page. This is a small town, by the way, so everything that you do, everyone knows about it, but no one posted that, so I'm thankful, and I've learned a new lesson to be more fucking careful. I've said it in the previous videos. What if I'm gonna kill someone today? Same thing here today. What if I was gonna crash? And the lesson here is that this is mainly to myself. I'm going to be watching these videos again in the future and I'll be thinking, man, I was dumb as fuck. So this is the lesson for me and for anyone else watching. You need to be more mindful and to be more present. In this common day and age, uh, I'm a broken radio now. I'm just going to repeat what I, I repeated in the last videos and what everyone Every boomer is gonna tell you, the previous generation, they're gonna be yappering, 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 and 
you have to listen because they are right. You have to be more careful and be more present. You know, in this common day and age, technology, social media, advertisements, you are bombarded with information. People are telling you different things, conflicting of information, pulling you in all directions. You're a confused mess of a man, blah, 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 blah. I said that before. You need to slow down and really, really enjoy what you're doing. I mean, not enjoy, but like you have to be present and um, be there and be, uh, what's the word? I'm lost for words. And just think about everything that you do. Like, like at least have an idea of what you're doing. You know, people say when you practice a skill enough, it becomes um, automatic. And sometimes I think that is a dangerous thing. When people start to behave in a way that is automatic, without any consciousness, without any critical thinking. For example, just I'm not just talking about driving, I'm, I'm talking about other things such as engaging in um, promiscuous behaviors. Maybe it's something that's been instilled upon you by the media, by the people around you. You're doing things without much forethought or even afterthought about it. You're just doing it, you're just going through the motion. Um, as another example, going to the gym, just going through the motion. I don't know. I'm, I'm not talking about exercising here. I'm, I'm talking about training specifically. If you're training, if you want to get better, you cannot be coasting through life. Same thing here with driving. When it becomes automatic, and you, you're driving, and then you start to do other shit, like calling your friends while driving. Oh, oh what are you up to, man? That's a dangerous thing. Answering phones when driving is dangerous. And that's why there's a rule. That's why it's in the law. You cannot be texting while driving. You cannot be drinking while driving. Because when you do that, you inhibit your 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 giga brain the part of you that is conscious the part of you that is aware of your surrounding yeah when you start to do things autonomously just just going through the motion that's dangerous man i'm not saying to overthink everything i'm not saying a lot of things what i'm saying is just be more mindful be more present you can see me there after i bought my lawnmower and I'll, I'll put up some clips of me just running around like I'm, I'm enjoying myself just doing stupid things You don't have to be on social media on all the time. You don't have to be Watching other people see what they're up to and thinking about how miserable you are how you're alone How you're missing out on all the fun. Just be present man present 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 Enjoy the pain the suffering. Why are you lonely? Can you do something about it? Can you be happy by yourself? So yeah, whatever you're doing right now, alone or with others, just be there, man, and enjoy, soak it in, soak it in, soak everything that life has to offer. And with that, I want to say, have a good day, stay strong, friends, as always, and God bless. Take care.